how to create bulk content with ChatGPT and Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can create bulk content using Canva and ChatGPT. So let's get into it. Now, bulk content is super essential to keep your social media platforms upgraded, to keep them up to date, and to have your users or your customers constantly interacting with your brand. And you can easily automate this entire process using ChatGPT and Canva. Now, let's say that I run a blog on Instagram and I'm posting, you know, wellness and well-being stuff on there. So what I like to do, you know, people are interacting with my content, even if I don't have to work every day to find new content, I like to go on to ChatGPT and let's say I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to give me 10 tips how on, you know, being a successful woman. So top 10 inspirational tips on self-love as a woman but you can see over here it is now giving me a couple of different tips and these are amazing to post on instagram with those instagram uh trendy little prompts these are amazing uh, stories as well so we're going to automate this entire process because a lot of people say hey you can generate these on chat gpt and then build them on canva but how can you build this on canva well I'm going to show you guys exactly how so once we have these ready uh what i like to do is i like to just copy so just do command c and paste them on microsoft excel this just helps me in simplifying everything because if you just paste it like that it's going to show up like this so what you want to do on chat gpt is you are going to ask it to make a table and usually it does make a simple table just so it's easier for you guys to you know just copy and paste the entire thing and you can see it's now giving me uh you know the shortened versions of this and this can help you in building a more interactive form now what you have to do is i'm gonna you know build or just open up a empty excel sheet and what i want is i want the summary on the first section and the second section to be like the entire quotation or the entire tip so what you want to do on chat gpt is that once you you know copy the entire thing when you go on excel and you select it and you are going to click on keep source with or keep values in source formatting now this can take a little bit of time but if we just click on paste special what you're going to do is you're going to select the entire text that you have and you want to separate the text now there are many ways you can do this and you want to make sure that you actually do do this because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to organize everything so what you want to do is you want to go into paste and we're going to go into paste special like so well, i have pasted everything as it was on our original chat gpt so you can see our first code was practice self-compassion and treat yourself like you would treat a good friend and that is how uh, everything is uh, created over here so that is how you want to paste it off just so it's easier for you and now i also want you know the one word summary so i'm just going to copy this i'm just going to copy this from here now I'm going to go back into my Excel sheet, go into the first column, click on Paste Special, and I'm going to click on Paste Special, Text, OK, and I'm going to insert a new column on the left side, so it's just a lot easier for everything to be formatted. Now I'm going to go back and copy. So a better thing is to actually just copy one section first uh, if you're able to do that but usually you're going to have a listicle format whenever you are building a table so you will have to copy it like so click on paste special and you're going to go into keep source column widths we're going to go ahead and then click on paste special now you can see our entire text has been added our previous one has spaces so i'm just going to uh, reformat the spaces as well so you can just select your columns from here and you can click on over here and go into the formatting section so i've just formatted the data over here and now i have everything aligned how i wanted i just used the data tool on my excel sheet and i clicked on sort and then you can just click on the column that you want to sort and sort it accordingly now once you have done that we can go back onto canva now in canva you can search for something like instagram post let's say i want to turn these instagram posts so 
I would just search for Instagram posts. You have multiple different templates. I like this one. So I'm going to click on customize this. And now once I have opened this up, I'm just going to click on the app section on the bottom left. And on the bottom left, once you click on apps, you're going to scroll down and you will find this feature called bulk create. Now, this is only available for Canva Pro, so you will have to upgrade. You can get a free trial as well. And you can click on enter data manually or you can export your CSV file. First off, you want to clear the table of the pre-existing data. And then you can just go into your Excel sheet and you can just select the data you want to copy, click on copy over here and go ahead and paste it like so. And we have all our data added over here. Now let's say I, I don't like the first section, so I can actually remove this as well. You can just select only the data that you want to add. So let's say I don't like the heading section, I just want this section. So I would just select this, click on copy, and now I can click on paste. So that is another thing that you can do with this. Now, once you have added your entire data, you're just going to click on done over here and you will start connecting your data field. So I have entered my data. This is all added. You can also add images. You can add more text if you want. This is just going to be coats like so and that is it so i'm going to click on done over here and i have this code section now what i'm going to do is i'm going to link my data field so this is where i want the quotations to appear and you will actually have to select the element that you want to connect so uh, you can see over here we have this data and we want to connect it to the data we have down below first i'm going to remove the image data because i don't really need that I'm just going to remove it, deleting all the excess data. Now I'm just going to enter this. And now we are just going to go ahead and select our text field. Click on connect data and connect it to coats. Then on the bottom section, I always wanted to say so whatever your Instagram handle might be, if you have like a logo, if you have any of that, you know, sort of thing, you can do that. You can also change the image as well. But once you have done all this, you're just going to click on continue and you can choose to select all. So I want to generate all 10 pages. And now once I have clicked on generate, you can see everything has been added. Now you can see the data set is pretty long. That's why the sizing is not working. So what I would do is I would go back into my original one and change the size of the code. So the uh, font that I'm going to use now is going to be a size 35 and now I'm going to click on continue and now I'm going to generate it. So this just helps you in rendering it correctly. So now in the 35 data in the 35 font, it looks a lot better. So in this way, I've made a very nice little Instagram quotation section. Now, another great thing you can do is creating more detailed posts. So if I want to code something from a book with the author's name, you can also do that very simply. So I would go back into ChatGPT. I asked ChatGPT, can you give me five popular codes from books? It gave me quotations. So after I asked ChatGPT to give me quotations, I asked it to make a, you know, column or, you know, create it in the form of a table. Can you make a table out of this? And it made me a table. Now I can just copy the entire table and I'll just uh, open up a new page on Excel and I'm just going to open up a new page. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on paste and you can click on keep source uh, values and formatting and then you can just paste it. And if it's not going to work like that, you're just going to select three different columns and you can click on paste. So if it's still not working, we're going to have to go into paste special, go into paste special as text. And now you can see everything has been added in the same format. So what I like to do is I like to resize it now. And I'm just going to expand the quotation section. Now we have everything ready. Now I can save this and I can actually save this as a CSV file directly from here. And I'm just going to save it like so. So I'm just going to save this. I have book number two saved. 
making sure it is saved. Now I can go back onto Canva and I'm going to use a different template for this. So let's say I want to use something like this. I would click on customize this template and then I'm going to go into my app section once more. So now I'm going to do the same thing pretty much and I'm just going to go into my apps, go into bulk create, upload CSV, go ahead and take your CSV file. I'm just going to take a look at my CSV file and just making sure it is downloaded. Going on save and I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Now going back into Canva, we're just going to go ahead and upload this. And once you have that top section, I want it to be the book title. So I'm just going to click on these three dots, click on connect data, and I want it to be the book title. The second section is the uh, quotation, so I'm going to click on connect data, click on quote, and the third section is going to be the author name. Now, once I've done that, I'm just going to click on continue and it will generate my five pages. Obviously, you can change the text sizes because these are a little long as well. So I'm going to go back into my original section, go ahead and change the size of the quotation. I'm going to make it a size 30 and now I'm going to click on enter data or connect CSV as I have it already. And then I'm just going to generate my five pages and I can, you know, mess around with the formatting a little like from here as well, but you can see how it has created an amazing little Instagram story and you can create multiple like 50 or 60 of these at a time. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.